At times like this, when the country's economy situation is at risk and the market does not stop falling, even though the last month is green, the most important thing, in my opinion, is knowing how to control psychology and emotions when investing. Still, the same thing happens when the market goes up and up and up, not only down. We have to take into consideration that we investors are people and not robots, and people can be influenced by emotions like fear or excitement. And in the investment world, that can be a big, big problem. All of us who invest in the market want different things. We, we seek to preserve our capital, to have the best possible return, and while we achieve that, we read a lot of news, Twitter, and others think trying to be aware of everything that is happening in the market, which exposes us to situations that can make us doubt our own investments. That is why in the last 20 years, the market has had a return of 8.2% on average yearly, while investors only about 4 to 5%, barely outpassing inflation. Hey, that this is an average. There will be investors with excellent returns like Warren Buffett, for example, or many more, and even many of you. People who start investing now consider beginners. Usually think that it is very easy to invest and generate profits. Because as everyone say, buy low and say hi. But the problem with that is that because we are subject to these cognitive distortions, we have a very poor idea of what is actually the lowest point to buy and the highest point to sell. When the market goes up and up, we begin to hear many people talking about stocks. You even get in a taxi and the taxi driver talks to you about Apple stock or Facebook stock or cryptocurrencies. The same with your aunt, your grandmother, and your relatives. That is exactly when we know that people are having a good return in the market and that the market most likely is on the rise since it creates that type of euphoria. People want to invest right now and generate money fast because that is what they're seeing on social media and from people that they know. That's when something bad is most likely going to happen. That's when our collective enthusiasm runs out and fear and despair begins. When we decide to invest in a company, we analyze it and make our calculations thinking the long term, thinking about whether it will be a good investment or not. Many people say they're investing in the long term since it is proven that it usually gives the best return. The problem comes when you decide to invest in a stock and the market or the stock starts going down. So you project to have an excellent return from that investment in the next five years, but when you buy the stock, the stock drops 20% and that's where the fear and worries begin. You begin to think that surely something happened with a company that you did not see in your analysis, that you made a mistake and you begin to think that the solution is basically to sell at a loss turn the page and move on. And in reality, what is happening is that the market is being volatile or an economic situation that affects the entire stock market and not just your stock. But because you are so focused on the 20% that we are losing, you don't realize that there are other things going around you that you shouldn't worry about. That is where psychology and emotions play a very, very important role. We all make mistakes in this world of investments. Warren Buffett, Peter Lynch, great investors have made mistakes. What makes us think that we are not going to make them? Obviously, you can avoid or reduce the risk when investing, but sooner or later, mistakes are made, either due to lack of analysis or lack of experience, as well as emotions. The first emotionally driven decision comes from the fear of missing out or FOMO. The FOMO affects a little more psychologically as it makes us want to invest in stocks that are going up and up where you see a lot of people making money. This leads us to speculate without having any strategy or prior analysis. This is something that we saw a lot in 2020 and 2021. When we saw stocks going up 10 to 30% in a day or a week, which was not normal at all. The other emotion that we often deal with is fear of losing everything. While with FOMO, 
FOMO, we don't want to stay out of rallies. A more powerful emotion is fear of losing the entire investment. When the market is volatile, causing big drops in the stock market, people get nervous and start putting their investments aside as a defense method to avoid a big sale as they watch money go down and down. And unfortunately, stock selling brings more selling, which during a market correction can create downward momentum in stocks that can be difficult to break, bringing a bear market. Exaggerated moves in a volatile market can shake the confidence of inexperienced investors who fear losing their hard-earned money. And that's something I've been seeing in the comments on my videos and other videos as well. Many people distrust the market right now, selling everything and so, and the vast majority are investors who started in 2020, 2019, 2021, where they saw the, share, the stock market going up and up and up. They had an excellent return and now we are very, very below those levels, creating a distrust, a distrust which will take time to recover in the market. So how should we handle psychology, fear and euphoria when investing? First and foremost, ignoring any noise and the news, as we know, they can be very, very tabloid. Analyze very well the companies in which you invest so that you feel 100% confident in that company. Although we know that the fundamentals of the company can change depending on many situations, and that is when we must make a decision. Do not involve emotion or try not to. Think with your brain and not with your heart so as not to make mistakes. Do not invest money that you need in the short term so that your mind does not affect you emotionally. Keep in mind that doubling your money in the short term is not easy and it is almost impossible so only invest money that you will, know you will not need in the next five years since you will most likely witness larger falls in the market market or larger drops in the market. Speaking of drops, we should take advantage of them. It is very difficult to pull the trigger or make the decision to invest more and more money when times like this, when the stock market is falling and falling, because the only thing we think about is that it will continue to fall and we will lose everything. But, but there is where we must have an investment strategy to be able to take advantage of the opportunities and not feel FOMO when the market is begins to recover. That is why my investment strategy is to buy periodically. It is finding companies that are presenting good investment opportunities at a good price and starting a new position. But then I will invest little by little so that if it continues to fall, I can get better prices without stressing too much about the money that I invested at the beginning of the position. Managing psychology when investing is not something easy or something that is learned overnight. Although I have been investing since 2017, I can say that I have learned a lot. I still do not consider myself an expert and I consider that I'm learning more and more about this world of investing and how to control emotions. One of the most important things is to not look at the stock price too much. The truth is that I don't do that much since I review or check my portfolio almost daily since I try to make purchases whenever I can. But also something very important is that if you're making a decision to buy or sell a stock, it is because of your analysis and its fundamentals and not because the price is going up or down. That's why I'm telling you not to check the price every single day. I have bought and sold many shares during this journey and I have mentioned them on this channel. So some I regret, but the vast majority I do not, both purchases and sales. Try not to be scared by the news, read more about the companies you invest in, make sure you feel comfortable and safe with those companies, create an investment strategy and follow it. Do not modify it just because the market is going down or up, but rather improve it so that you can take advantage of the opportunities. That is why right now I'm trying to invest more and more money in my positions and more if they have fallen and are at a good price right now, thinking long term since we know that in the short term we will most likely continue to be more and more affected by recession, inflation, inflation, and more. Now, how do you protect your money? I'll leave you here a video on how I'm protecting my money. I hope you enjoy it and I will leave you here for you to subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.